Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWT and Sports. This is a video that's been asked for me to do by our good friend, the loyalist, DJ Slick. So DJ Slick, if you're out there, this video is for you. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Please leave your comments, but be respectful. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, BWTM Sports, BWTM Sports Group. We appreciate your support. Now, let's kick on with this. Jamie McDonald versus Naoya Inoue. Naoya Inoue. This, uh, this is an interesting one, very interesting one, because you've got a fighter in Inoue. He's moving up in weight to fight Jamie McDonald, the current bantamweight champion. Now, hmm. you know, for those people in the UK, I think you're gonna have, you're gonna be uh, more in tune with what I'm saying here. When you call a guy a world class fighter, like every other day on on Sky, this guy's a world class fighter. That guy's a world class fighter. That guy's a world class fighter. Um, often. They can, these commentators can get away with that stuff because the guy that they're fighting with isn't a class operator. And then what ends up happening is eventually they have to fight somebody who is a class operator. In the case of Jamie McDonald, he's fought in some fights. I like Jamie McDonald. Let's get something straight. I like Jamie McDonald. I think he's a good fighter. I think he's, you know, he's, he's good at what he does, um, consistent, and he's never afraid to get in the ring and fight the best. We have this fight now of Inui and McDonald happening now because McDonald wanted it to happen, I think, I guess. Um, and um, the fight's on. So, you know, full credit for both fighters making this fight ha to make this fight happen. Inui, nicknamed the monster, literally has been blowing people away and knocking people out. Um, so, first of all, this guy can punch. There's no doubt this guy can punch. He's got good foot, great footwork. Um, he's got a bit of pizzazz about him he's got that star quality about him you know when i look at him first of all i had a proper look at him because i've you know there's so much boxing in the world i don't get to see everybody and got more things to do than just watch boxing unfortunately uh, i preferred it back in the day when i could just watch all these fights and fighters first time watching new and he's got great footwork able to you know great footwork on the ropes nice um nice combination punching Fast hands, loves to throw straight punches and then land the left hook to the body. Does love that body shot a lot. And um, he reminds me of a Pacquiao, uh, a, a right-handed Pacquiao. Uh, Pacquiao is jumping a lot. This guy seems to have a little bit more finesse about how he gets in and how he gets out. Um, very, very, very talented fighter and a star in the making, no doubt, of Inui. And, um, you know, this, this, guy's, this guy's a handful. This guy's a handful. He moves up to bantamweight now. So the question is with Inui, you know, does he carry that power up to bantamweight? You know, some guys can carry it. He's, he's come from a lower weight division, moving right up. And um, we want to see how good his punching power is tra translates moving up. I know he's made quotes that he wants to knock Jane McDonald out in the first round. Oh, wow. Uh, McDonald is, I think, significantly taller than Inui. <clears throat> and I would think significant, he's got significantly long arms. I was looking through the highlights of Inui. I don't know he's boxed anyone who is as tall and as long as Jane McDonald. I don't know. But um, it all looks to me like all the danger signs. Um, you know, he's got all the danger signs here, Inui. But the one thing I will say about this fight, and, and it's apparent from what I'm seeing, um, from, from the clips I've seen of Inui, and the many clips I've seen of Inui now, there's some things Inui does fantastically well, and there's some things I'm uncomfortable with him. Two things Inui I think is, is vulnerable to. I think he's vulnerable to the uppercut. He is a sucker for the uppercut. And the other thing Inui is a sucker for is if you look at him when he's throwing his punches, and he goes to the body or he's throwing his fly punches, he does tend to leave his chin in the air a bit to dry a little bit too long if you're on the inside with him. He's one of these guys that when they're throwing the punches, he doesn't mind taking one or two in return, but his chin is there to be hit. He, he's in there when he's throwing shots. Technically, his chin is there up. He cheeses his chin out to drive when he's throwing his shots. I've noticed it a few times when he's been up close, the body shots, 
always been throwing combinations. Leaves his chin in the air. Um, I'd like to see him force him to the back foot a lot more. Now, so he's one of those guys that I, I, I have reservations for. He looks the part. He looks a star. But there's some things I'd like to see. And if I'm training Jamie McDonald, you know where they say box, 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 box? And Jamie McDonald's got such long arms. He should, in theory, be able to use the jab and box in the ring from the outside because he's such he's got such long arms and decent boxing ability. But see that see the thing is this this fight is one not so much by the length of McDonald or the hand speed of Anui, but the footwork. Anui's got tremendous footwork. So he'll be able to get himself in and out of positions. That'll be very interesting. McDonald's gonna have to win this fight, I think, from the outside. He can't afford to have Inui get close close on the ropes to him. Um, he can't afford Inui to close the range down and land them body shots with McDonald, who is very big for the weight, you know. So I'd be going for McDonald to the body. So McDonald has got to keep, he's got to be the tall man, he's got to be the big man in fight, he's got to use a fight long. He's got to keep this fight as long as long as possible. He's going to make Inui eat the jab. He's going to make Inui walk onto right hands. He's got to walk Inui onto uppercuts. He's got to use lots of feints. A lot of British fighters you see today, a lot of British fighters, they don't use the feint enough. He's got to feint. He's got to make Inui commit, and then he's got to be using the jab. The long arms, he's got to use the whole length of his arm. You know, I remember I tell you say to me, you've got long arms. There should be no reason why a fighter should get on the inside of you. Jay McDonough has, has got very good boxing ability, but it's going to be tested to the absolute limit. Inouye's not one of these guys who just comes in straight lines and hasn't got good footwork. He's got good footwork to get himself in position and out of position. So it's not just a case of just rocking up, stick behind the jab and just boom, boom, boom all night long. He's going to have to make Inouye respect his punching power. See, if McDonough was a big puncher, I don't think I'd look at his fight in a different way. McDonald's going to have to get the respect of Inui early because if he doesn't get the respect of Inui early, Inui is going to walk him down. How big a punch Inui is at bantamweight? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Has he be? I mean, what's Inui's normal walk away, walk around weight? Nobody knows. Is this guy going to be like another Pacquiao as he moves up in weight? He's just blasting people out of there. Nobody knows until fight night. I tell you who's going to know. Jane McDonald's going to know. So I'll be telling Jake McDonald as a, as his trainer, listen, if you get a chance, this guy, and he gets close, tie the guy up, tie him up, lean on him, really lean on him, get your, put your weight on his back, lean on him, you know, try and tie this guy out, you know, keep this guy at distance, frustrate him with the jab, you know, give him something to think about, constantly popping the jab in his face, turning this guy all the time. Don't allow him to set to throw punches. Do not give him the same rhythm all the time with the jab you have to use faster jabs and slower jabs you know hit him with the right hand jab to the body but whatever you do do not allow this man to close the range down on you do not allow this man to close the range down on you right because he's going to be looking to come out like a hurricane don't allow that stop that straight away stiff jab in his face boom in his face boom boom snapping his head back all the time with the jab it's gonna be the key he's gonna be using the jab over and over and over again when he's up close tie up the referee is also going to be key to this fight because if the referee doesn't allow Jamie to hold and tie up, there's going to be problems there. My concerns are when it comes to Jamie McDonald and Inui. Inui's got fast hands. He's got seems to have fast feet and good combinations. To me, if I'm Jamie McDonald, I'm using a jab and I'm pushing Inui back, pushing him back, forcing him back with a jab, make him fight off the back foot, make him fight off the ropes. That's where the fight should be. The fight should not be a mid to close range. Forget that. That's my concern. So, you know, Manui does punch hard. We don't know how hard he hits as a bantamweight. I remind you, this is not, uh, uh, you know, this is a bantamweight fight. So, therefore, we need to take into consideration what sort of a punch at Inui is at bantamweight. He's moving up in weight, you know, and McDonald's a big bantamweight. Let's not forget that. He's a big bantamweight. So, there, there are lots of questions and you won't know until, after Inui hits McDonald, what sort of power he carries. And um, to be fair, some of those guys that Inui has been fighting were right in front of him, literally right in front of him. So they took the full leverage of his power. 
Um, if McDonald's making a Louis miss around, m making a miss and maneuvering him around the wing, the ring, there's all things. This is boxing science. So it's going to be a lot of boxing science. It's going to be needed by McDonald to win this fight. Really, a lot of boxing science. He's going to have to use the jab. He's going to have to tie a new up when he's on the inside. He's going to have to frustrate him. You know, McDonald got dropped by Comedy. Yes, I'm aware of that, but he still won the fight. Well, he still went on to win the fight. So don't tell me about the things that happened in the fight. Tell me what the result was. The result was McDonald won the fight. So that's immaterial. Uh, Lomachenko got dropped by uh, by uh, Linares the other day. But what happened? He came back and beat him. It's not, no shame in getting dropped to the fight, getting up and winning. Tyson Fury's been dropped. He's got up and won a fight, right? So what? You know what I mean? There's no shame in getting dropped. No shame in getting dropped. So I'm not sure why you made that comment, show you about he got dropped. So he got dropped. So what? These guys are top class operators. So you're getting dropped. That doesn't mean nothing. Most important thing here in this fight, technically, is for McDonald to keep a Nui at the end of the jab. Uh, Ingram on fire, chill, Broski. Don't chat. Just, just don't chat that sort of stuff, man. I mean, you, you don't don't come on this channel talking that stuff and expect me to drill you for it. Um, in Nui, at the end of the day, you know, he's a he is he looks a star in the making. He may just be too much for Jamie McDonald. This guy might be a step too far for Jamie McDonald. But like I said, I like to give things a balanced opinion. And for Nui, he has got flaws in his game. He does leave his chin up in the air, he does leave himself exposed when coming forward. And he, I don't think he's for anybody who's got the length like McDonald's got and the height. McDonald's got height and reach in this fight to an advantage. There is no reason, really, no reason why Inui should be getting on the inside of McDonald. Absolutely none. And, you know, so, you know, we need to, you know, so this is a great fight. This is a great fight. Great fight. Great, great fight. So, um, I, uh, he knew he's the favourite. I understand why. Um, it all depends on how hard this guy hits at bantamweight. If this guy is a big, big bantamweight puncher, McDonald's going to have his work cut out for him. But like I said, the jab is the key for McDonald. He's got to keep snapping the head back of Inui, hitting him with hard right hands, straight right hands, turning Inui and not allowing Inui, you know, and look to take this fight in the second fight. Uh, Chocolatey Tito was a great fighter, but he was just too small for super flyweight. That's the thing. Inui could come into this fight a great star at the lower weight division. As he moves up to bantamweight, he might be just too small as a bantamweight. We just don't know. Nobody really knows with Inui. If Inui had fought a couple of fights to bantamweight, and we thought, oh yeah, okay, we, we can make a bit. You just don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Um, but McDonald has got all the advantages there. He has got all the advantages there. Height, reach. The only thing Inui might have, may have, and again, the speed and the power, you know, he might be a little slower moving up in weight, but then he might carry that speed up from him, from a lower weight division, might carry it up with him. This guy could be another Pacquiao, like I said. He might be. He looks like a star in the making. You know, but um, McDonald's got a nice jab there. You know, Inui has got, like I said, Inui's got all, it, it, it's, it looks all the way for Inui. But if McDonald's able to get the jab, if Inui's too small at the weight, if McDonald is physically bigger than Inui, which he is, I'm also, like I said, for McDonald, get on him, tie him up, wrestle him, tie him up, lean on him, lean on his back, get the referee to hold, get you to break, use a jab, snap him with a jab, hit him with uppercuts as he comes inside. Because I knew he's vulnerable to the uppercut. Uh, mid range, he's vulnerable. So the uppercuts are punched there. Uppercut left hook combination on the inside. But I, I don't want to see, really, I don't want to see McDonald bending down in this fight. If he starts to bend down in this fight, McDonald, I knew he's got this for me. He's got to be staying straight up. He's got to be using the jab. He's got to be moving at angles. Can't stay in the same spot of Inui. The jab and slip to the side. The jab, slip to the side. So that's it. That's my preview. I'm not going to sit that, you know, Inui's the favourite here because of his record and knocking everybody out or knocking most people out. I want to see how he does in this new weight division and whether McDonald can keep the smudge 
significantly small amount out with the jab because really he should be keeping him out with the jab. The jab should be snapping into his back and he's got no business being on the inside when landing body shots. If he doesn't do those things, it's something he's gone horribly wrong. And his footwork has got him inside to land the body shots. And there better be a plan B or else an dollar could get stopped. But, hey, it's going to be an interesting fight anyway. And fair play to McDonald for taking this fight against Inui. A real champion he is. And if McDonald beats Inui, I don't want to hear no excuses about, well, Inui is too small away. And Inui is this and that. I've said to you, he is... I want to see him on the back foot. I want to see McDonald force him onto the back foot and push him back if he's got the strength, push Inouye back and force Inouye onto the back foot and make him fight off the back foot for the whole fight. Take the fight to Inouye using the jab. It doesn't have to be defensive running off the back foot. He can use the, the jab and force Inouye back off the, with the jab. He can double up the jab, force Inouye back. Do you know what I mean? So lots of feints are going to be needed in this fight. Lots of countering needs to be done in this fight. Because Inouye likes to draw the lead, draw your lead and counter. Now, McDonald, because of the, the length he's got and the, the, the length he's got, he's able to do the similar thing to Inouye. So he can feint, but he's got his arm length to drop back, let Inouye come to him and then counter Inouye. So Inouye, so McDonald's got to do to Inouye what Inouye's been doing to everybody else which is counter Anui. He's got a counter, counter punch to counter puncher, right? He's got to push Anui back and he's got to counter punch him. That's the only way I see McDonald win that fight. But it would be a mistake to go to war with Anui, not early at least. So I think Anui is going to come out like a train for McDonald. He's just going to have to meet him head on with a jab and snap that head back straight away. Boom. Not today, son. Boom. Every time Anui tries to set, 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 to do something, bam, hit the jab. As soon as you try to set, boom, hit the jab in the face every time and away. As soon as he goes, come and attack, boom, jab again. As soon as he goes, bam, the jab again. Or next time he comes forward, to your right hand. Or then, and, and then as he tries to come forward, he doesn't decide to throw the jab with the right hand, he faints. So then Nui comes forward, tries to throw, a, throw a, a combination, he counters, boom, catch him with the counter, catch him with the counter. Then if he does get in close, tie him up, hold him up, lean on him, push him. Be the big man. Bully him in there. That's how McDonald's got to win this fight. But I'm not saying he just sits on the back foot and just waits for things to happen because that's not the case. So, like I said, footwork could be the key in this fight because I know his footwork could be the difference in this fight because he's got very good footwork. Right, that's my preview. I'm not going to give a prediction, but that's my preview for the fight. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm out of here. Take care.